Ubla Loitak. Kanuik Pizzi. Today is Wednesday. What day? All day today, let's be. Always do cooperate and let's treat. How many of you remembered those words? If you did, give yourselves a pat on the back. That's great. We'll keep working to memorize those because there's a lot of deep meaning there that helps us live our lives and be students in a really good way. Today, we'll be working on some of the steps that are involved in having healthy, warm, and friendly proactive circles in the classroom. The first step we're going to work on is the warm up and settle down. It's a way of you as a group with your friends settling down and getting focused for a proactive circle. So let's think about that for a moment. Now there are four basic ways you can open a circle. There's music, if you have a favorite kind of calming, upbeat song that you like to listen to as a group, or a quote that you all really like. Or, let's see, what was the other one? Oh, a poem. Yeah, a poem that you like. And finally, to do some breathing or a breathing exercise that helps everyone relax and just be together in the space. Let's talk about the first one, music. Now I was going to play you a sample of music that I might like, but then I thought, oh my gosh, are kids going to like that? So let me just tell you what you kind of need. You kind of need a song that's smooth and bouncy and relaxing. If you can agree on a song that you'll like, you could play that while everyone gets organized and settled sits down in the circle, and then let the song finish, and you'll be ready to start. Now, let's consider a... Here's a nice example of a quote. This quote says, One kind word can change someone's entire day. So if you used a quote to open your circle, everyone would sit down together, they'd take a deep breath, and everyone would together say, One kind word can change someone's entire day. Then you'd start your circle. Here's an example of a poem. Take Courage, Friends by Wayne B. Arneson. Take courage, friends. The way is often hard. The path is never clear. And the stakes are very high. Take courage, for deep down, there's another truth. You are not alone. Our last example for a circle opener is breathing. There's lots of different ways to do this. You could do box breathing, where you inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and slowly go around the box together as a group. You can close your eyes and just be silent. And while you're doing that, breathe in and out. And in and out together as a group. You can use your hands. Pretend those are hands, okay? While you're sitting, and you can lift your hands up and breathe in, and then down and breathe out. And then up and breathe in, and then down and breathe out. You could even look online and you could find some different options for breathing and decide on one that you like as a group. So your project for this morning is to gather together in your circle and decide if you would like to use music, or if you'd like to use a quote, or if you'd like to use a poem, or if you'd like to use breathing. And then sometime later today or tomorrow morning, sit down and figure out 
which breathing exercise or which music or which song or which quote um, or which poem that you want to use to open your circle. This is a two-day project. Introduce today. Today you pick your type and then tomorrow you pick which one as a group. I'll check in with you tomorrow morning and have a wonderful day. Just a reminder that Oktoberfest is happening again tonight. I believe the doors were open at 7 or slightly before for the first game. And remember that you need to stay in school all day. We check the attendance to make sure you haven't skipped your last hour, high school students. If you would like to go attend the games tonight. Have a wonderful day.